So, who are you? Um, my name is Joanna Loomis, and I'm an undergraduate intern with the New York Legal Assistance Group. Uh -huh. And the New York Legal Assistance Group provides um, free legal assistance to low-income New Yorkers, and uh, the LGBT Law Project uh, specifically helps with things like uh, name changes and uh, discrimination hearings. There's a real problem, I understand, with all things birth certificates in New York State. Yes, I actually work a lot um, translating birth certificates for um, uh, immigrants who want to change their names. So. And how about for transgender people? Yes, I thought that especially that, for that. New York was one of the difficult places. It used More to be, but, but we've actually, it's changed recently, so it's a lot easier now than it used to be. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, so it was a change, I mean, if the Blasio came in, or was there some upper court decision? Uh, I don't remember. I am an undergraduate and not a law student, oh. but... I changed my own name. It was funny, when I got my new birth certificate, uh -huh. they put a line through my birth name and written <laughs> my, give, my new name above it. Nice. So, I mean, I wasn't trans, but mm -hmm. it was interesting because I couldn't hide the fact that I originally had been born Charles G. Hayden Jr., mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's a problem for people that have a female name at birth yeah. or a male name and want to change their gender. Yeah, but at least that way you can have the right name on, say, your driver's now, license. Now, the people that work with this, uh -huh. you're, you're a law student or...? I, I'm an undergraduate. I hope to go to law school when I graduate. I see. Mm -hmm. And so they give you this to sort of immerse you in work in the community? Exactly. I get to do outreach and and sort of learn my way around the law. You do profession. intake interviews and uh, a couple. I that's not my main job, but I get to do some sometimes. Yeah. I, it, it, I assume there must be ten people that apply for every person that for <laughs> your staffing. There just isn't enough legal help for people. Uh, yeah, there. We don't get to help everybody that we can, but we do get to help a lot of, of people who, who apply. Is, for is it. it not? Is is it they? So you know, like the ACLU helps, but they like to pick key key cases. So oh. if they get a decision, the decision will have effects beyond that one person. Yeah, we're not quite as publicity based. Uh, we tend to do some of the quieter cases and leave uh, the, the more public cases to the ACLU and the Sylvia Rivera Law Project and things like that. Oh, I see. So you're more just a general service organization rather yes. than a we, we a do more than changer. just. Yeah, we do more than just uh, LGBT projects. We have um, immigration, family services, just all sorts of law-related activities. So. And are, are there problems when you translate names, uh, foreign names particularly? Um, the names aren't always a problem, but there are other aspects of legal certificates that are hard to translate Like, like what? From a, an immigrant? <laughs> Well, someone who's fleeing persecution in one of the from the east. I deal out with the. I had a Russian a Russian boy who had come over here on a tourist visa and is now seeking, you know, refugee status because he stood up and spoke out against Putin during the Sochi Olympics. I I don't know so much about that. That's not the the project that I'm with. But are there certain yeah. countries where you have particular problem? I mean, is it? I I just wonder. Spelling of names are different, you know, like we have Stephen spell S-T-E-V-E-N, S-T-E-P-H-A-N. Are there all kinds of tricks like that involved in translating foreign names? Well, I usually just leave them how they're spelled in the original language. So it's but then if they change the name, they just change, then they're changing the alphabet from Arabic or same, I don't know what well, the I, alphabets are. I, I only know Spanish, so I'm translating <laughs> um, with the same That's alphabet. That's very easy. But, yeah. No, you're missing. Was it H or A or J? There's one word you don't have. One letter I'm missing. <laughs> you have Jorge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, and and you. They, people can contact you at where? At the New York Legal Assistance Group at 7 Hanover Square in New York. Okay. Do they have regular office hours or a uh, website? Yeah, they, they have both a website and regular office hours, 9 to 5 every day. Okay. So, yeah. Do you have a lot of translators there? <laughs> A fair amount, especially for Spanish speakers. Okay, thank you. Yeah.